Okay, we have here to take another integral from the UNSW Integration B 2023. This was semifinals, round two, problem one. We have the integral of 5x squared minus 83x plus 459 over x minus 7 times x squared minus 22x plus 146 dx. Okay, so at first I had a lot of concerns here just because we've got such, we just have such big coefficients on the quadratics that it was kind of troubling. I was thinking at first that maybe, okay, maybe these are factorable. Maybe this is factorable or the numerator is factorable and then we can have some cancellation. I found that wasn't the case. I don't think we can factor this with integers. And so I don't think we can do anything with this numerator either. So when I found I couldn't factor this, the way I decided to go was partial fractions. So what I've done here is we've split this up into two integrals, just splitting up the denominator. So what we want for our unknowns in the numerator, we're just one degree less than the denominator. So like this is a first degree polynomial, we go for zeroth degree. And for a quadratic, we go for first degree. And I can actually try to use the cover up method on this. So what we can do is if I take a seven and plug it in here, this is gonna make this term zero. So then I'll cover this up and plug the seven in here. Now this is gonna give us our A value, and if you do this, what you're gonna get is, this is gonna be 41 here in the denominator, and this numerator plug in the seven is gonna be 123, and this can be reduced to just a three. So we have a value for our A. And now to get our B and C values over here, I can just use some convenient X values. Like what I can do is we can take X equals zero, so it's gonna wipe a lot of this stuff out. So if I, take a zero, if I plug zero into everything here, we're gonna end up with just 459 in the numerator because all this stuff's going to cancel out. We're going to have a minus 7 here, and then this is going to become just a 146. And then we're going to equate all this to these terms here. So we're going to have our a, which is 3. I plug a 0 in for x, and we have a minus 7 here. Then plugging in bx plus c, we're going to have, a, if we plug a 0 in for x, the b term gets wiped out, and we just end up with c. And then plugging a 0 into the denominator here, we just end up with 146. And what I can do for the simplification, I think I'll just multiply by 146 times minus 7 on both sides here. Real quick, because then that's going to cancel here and here. We're going to have a cancellation of, of the denominators here, and we're going to end up with 459. I know I'm doing this really quick, but we want to just kind of crunch through these numbers. You can do this on your own, but we're going to end up here with a minus 7 times C. And then solving this for C, we're going to have just minus 3. So we'll plug this in right here. And then we just need this B value. So for the B value, I'm just gonna use another convenient, you could use whatever you want for an X value, but I wanna plug in something convenient. So like one is gonna make it easy for me. So we'll plug first one into our original expression, and this is gonna become five minus 83 plus 459. And then plugging ones in all the way here, we have minus six. And this is gonna become one minus 22 plus 146. And then we're gonna plug a one into everything here. So we're gonna end up with three, 1 minus 7 is going to be minus 6 here. Then here we're going to have, plugging 1 in here, we're going to have b minus our c value, which is 3. This becomes 1 minus 22 plus 146. I can simplify this value here to 125, but this over here is the same thing, so we'll write this as 125. Combining all these terms, we get 381. This right here is actually, if we multiply that out, that's going to be the same thing as minus 750. So what I'm going to do is multiply on both sides, multiply through by minus 750. We'll do it here and here. So by doing that, we're going to cancel this with this. This here is going to become 125 in the numerator. This here is going to give me a minus 6 here. So this is 375. Let's see what we're going to have. So we're going to have, if I subtract 375 on both sides, we end up with just 6 over here. And then this piece is going to become minus 6b plus 18. Solving for b, we just get b equals 2. Okay, now after all that mess, we're ready to integrate, I think. Now, I don't know how much time to give you on the UNSW integration b, but this one could be a problem just kind of crunching all the numbers. So now looking at these integrals, this one's going to be easy. This one looks like I want a u substitution. What I want to do for my u substitution, let's see, this is going to be, I want my denominator to be the whole u. So I'm going to want u equal to x squared minus 22x plus 146. Take my derivative, du gives me 2x minus 22. Now we have the 2x here. I want the minus 22, so I'm just gonna kind of force this. What I can do is for minus three, I can write that as minus 22 plus 19. So this is still minus three. I just don't wanna forget, we're gonna have to break this off into a separate integral. But now this integral is perfectly set up. So let's see, we'll just integrate this first one because this is easy. So this is gonna be three times natural log absolute value x minus seven. 
Now for this one, I'm not gonna do the U substitution formally. We have our U here and we have our DU here. So this is just DU over U. So this is gonna give me minus natural log absolute value U, but we have our U value right there, which is X squared minus 22X plus 146. But we're gonna have this third integral. Let's just write this. We're gonna have, I can bring my 19 out front, but then we have to integrate X squared minus 22X plus 146. Now here at this point, it looks like I can probably complete the square on this. What I'll do is take half of minus 22, and we can write this as x minus 11, square it. Then notice when you multiply that out, you get x squared minus 22x plus 121. Well, we've got 146, but that's okay. If I add 25 to 121, we have our 146. But I'll take 25 and I'll actually write it as five squared. So that what I'm doing is I'm setting this up for the arctan formula. Now we have our arctan formula over here to the right. And of course we could do a U substitution here, but it's not really gonna matter because you'll notice if we said that this is our U, well, D is just gonna be DX. So the substitution doesn't really help us. We'll look at that as our variable, as like our X value here. And our A value in this formula is just gonna be five. So using this, we can finish this off. I just need to copy down all this other junk. Now using this formula here, we have our 19 out front, our one over a, one over five, so I can write this as 19 over five arctan. Our variable value is this x minus 11 over five. Put a plus c there and that's it. Okay, so as it turns out, this wasn't too bad. We just had to do some extra number crunching and some partial fractions. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.